Hello and welcome to Storytime with Nada. I am Miss Nada and here is Bo and Donna. Join me on their journeys. Today's story is From Grains to Flour. Years ago in the moonlit night, wheat and barley were harvested by hand and it was carried out like that for many, many generations. Bo heard so many stories about this beautiful method, so much so they became vivid in his dreams. Bo dreamt of the melodies and old folklore songs rolling in his mind like waves traveling through time and space and then back to the present. He finally awakened and was reminded of the work ahead. Only most of it is now done by machines. Grandpop had explained a little to Bo, mentioning that after the wheat was harvested, bundles were formed and piled into triangular shapes so they could dry out. A lot of the time, when you drive through the country, you can see them left on the fields in rows and rows. The next step after the sun completely dried them out was to gather them and put them through machines that will divide and remove all the parts of all of the stem, which now has become just plain straw. The wheat kernels are collected in big hemp bags and brought to the thresher or separator machine which dehusks them of their brown coating, making the kernels ready for grinding into flour. Crackety crack, crackety crack, groans the old drum as it spins and spins, breaking the kernels free from their husks. Nothing goes to waste and everything has its place on the big farm where Bo and Donna live. Both Bo and Donna can't wait to ride down to the river where Grandpa Mill is located. They love listening to the rushing water as it moves up the big wooden wheel and suddenly falls out again on its way along the path to the river. Splish, splash, splish, splash, and off it goes. The big wheel in the mill moves yet another smaller wheel which in turn moves a heavy stone. That stone grinds against another big stone where the dried wheat kernels have been placed, waiting to be ground into their finest state, their final state, flour. I can do it, I can do it. That is the sound the big stone seems to be making as it's being pushed by the power of the falling water of the big wheel of the mill. Bo is surprised of the ease in which it all comes together and is so happy just watching the lively splashing of the tumbling and rushing water of the stream. Let us run, let us sing the endless melody of our ancient stream, sang the river, sang the water, with each pass and jump from plant to plate to plate to plate on the big wooden wheel. Come here, my boy, and please, please hold the sack. We need to fill and bring back to Nana, called Grandpa. That was something he would not have to ask twice, since that sack would turn into some of Nana's yummy delicacies that she so often baked. The fine dust of the freshly ground wheat is everywhere, even Bo and Donna's hair and they look like true millers tending to their important job. Can you imagine yourself in an old mill such as this one Bo describes here? Have you ever seen one? Or maybe you can create your own milling story. Let me know.